Nights on 3AW. Try Amplifon's latest technology hearing aids. Free for 14 days. T's and C's apply. Call 13 My Ears today to book an appointment. It's 8 to 9. Major Brendan Nottle from the Salvation Army is with me and also psychologist Jackie Lauder uh, for Mindful for Tobin Brothers Funerals Celebrating Lives. And it is uh, Tobin Brothers hashtag Say It Now month, um, encouraging people to maybe pick up the phone, catch up for a coffee, send a message to a loved one or a friend and tell them how important they are in their life. And joining us, uh, Brendan and Jackie, Emily Power, journalist, uh, about to start a new job, and a part of 3AW, of course. Emily, good evening. Oh, good evening to you all. Uh, Emily, you, Emily. Uh, who do you want to thank? Oh, I want to thank someone who's well-known also to 3AW audiences. That's my best friend, Laura V, Laura Viserites. Yep. You'd know her, Dennis, pet yes. expert, canine behavioralist, and uh, my soulmate in many ways. What now? What? Why? What, so, so you met via three AW and just, it just clicked as a as a mateship. Yeah, we did. So Laura and I met four years ago in studio here at three AW. I was on with Darren James doing the usual tomfoolery that we do for an yes. hour on Saturday morning. Is that a good word for uh, hanging out with DJ Tomfoolery? Yes, yes, tomfoolery. <laughs> I heard him on Saturday. I'm going to mention it with him on uh, tomorrow night. I heard him arguing with Adrian Richardson about the best way to boil an egg the other day. Adrian. <laughs> Adrian's been a chef for 40 years. <laughs> I love it when DJ gets up ahead of steam like that. Uh, now, it was actually Darren James's show, but uh, the late Kevin John was filling in for DJ. Right, yep. And um, Kevin and I were in studio. Laura came in for a segment and we just really clicked. And it was like we'd known each other all our lives. And I think as we get older, and I don't know if you would all there uh, agree with this sentiment, it get, it's harder to make friends as we get older. And... It's not necessarily that we're reluctant, but we get busy and we don't make time for new experiences. And by being open to that, I met somebody who has become very, very central to my life. It's, isn't that lovely, uh, Brendan and Jackie? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it really sort of speaks to the whole uh, important notion of being open to other people and new experiences, because sometimes we shut ourselves off, don't we? We miss out on so much. Yeah, you're right, Brendan. We we make excuses for things and say too busy or, you know, and you get into your little routine, your little circle and your Absolutely. little cycle. But um, when you when you are, I suppose, vulnerable in a lot of ways in your life, not just with friendships, but maybe vulnerable to love or a new relationship or a work opportunity, uh, sometimes if you take a risk, it really pays off. Jackie, it's very, very important to have friends who you can uh, share some of those um, deepest emotional thoughts with? Yeah, I think um, it also is a really good point that sometimes you, you meet the the closest people to you and you never expect it. And I think trusting that gut instinct and following that and recognising sometimes you can be very, very different people, but those relationships can just be so highly valuable. I imagine knowing both of you, Emily, that you and Laura uh, share a lot of humour together. Yeah, we do. We're very, very similar. Uh, we are stencils of each other in a lot of ways. Our work has run concurrently. She's been a presenter, an author. We have the same publisher. We both love animals. Uh, our fur babies are our whole world. We have a great time together, but the other thing I, I find with Laurie is that uh, – we can rely on each other for the really tough things. Um, I've learnt on her through some very dark periods in the last four years because we all have them. None of us, unfortunately, are unable to escape sometimes the dark clouds. And, uh, and she's one of the only people where I feel like I can be, be so myself, it's a little bit embarrassing. And we sign off our text messages to each other with, I love you, which is really lovely, actually to do that we don't say that enough to each other and so it's been nice to be part of this campaign and reflect on on our friendship as well emily power mm. wonderful to have you on the program tonight with some uh, very very wise words hashtag say it now month for tobin brothers funerals emily thank you